We're so excited to hear about Tucks on Trucks, so please welcome Parker Moore. You have six minutes. All right, here we are. Y'all wait, got some coffee in your veins going? Good, awesome. My name is Parker Moore. I'm the CEO co-founder of Tucks on Trucks. I'm very excited to be back here in Columbia. I was a 2016 graduate from the Moore School just down the street here, so it's particularly exciting for me to be back in the uh, city of dreams here. It's hot here in Columbia, that's for sure. I didn't miss, didn't miss that part of Columbia. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I've been I spent the last, uh, gosh, three, four weeks traveling the southeast, pitching at one lane cups across the region, you name it, Atlanta, Nashville, Charleston, uh, everywhere, Green, Greenville, even York County. This is one of the nicest locations and one of the biggest crowds, so kudos to you for really growing this chapter of One Million Cups. It's uh, exciting to be, to be back here. So let's get this dive right in. I've only got six minutes and we'll go over some great Q&A here. So Tux on Trucks is exactly what it sounds like. We're a mobile tuxedo rental service primarily serving high schools, colleges, and the occasional wedding here or there. Uh, for, let's just take high schools for example. The way this will work is we'll go to the school, we will set up in their gym, their cafeteria, Miss Smith's classroom, wherever they really want us to set up will be there. Uh, those kids will come by during their lunch, after school, during school uh, to get fitted for a tux and that just takes a few minutes. Uh, parents then are notified and through the school's help and our own marketing efforts to say, oh, hey, you know, Johnny was fitted during his uh, lunch today. Uh, here, here's our website, tuxontrucks.com. You go and order your tux uh, before, typically it's about two or three weeks before prom is when we see that take place. The week of prom, we're back on that school's campus, passing out those tuxedos for the kids that ordered. Monday, they got to come where? Back to school. So we're back at the campus picking up the, the tuxedos that our customers rented from us for that week. College crowd's a little different. We're very excited to have launched this past uh, semester, or past year, I guess, at Auburn University. What an audience they have there at Auburn Forest. About 98% of the guys are in Greek life, it seems like. Uh, we're also here, of course, here at USC, and we're dabbling with Clemson and College of Charleston. So in total, we've been doing this, by the way, for about three and a half, four years now, I, I assume. And uh, we've got about 35 locations across this great state, and including uh, some colleges, about six colleges across the southeast. And of course, looking to expand that as we continue on uh, moving forward. And then, like I said, weddings will do. Weddings a little bit more, obviously, a case-by-case -case basis five, six tuxedo rentals at a time. I'd much prefer to fit 600 guys at fraternity at USC, if you know what I'm talking about. So Tux on Trucks kind of had some pretty humble beginnings. I, of course, started here at the University of South Carolina. This was a class project uh, for none other than Dean Crest, who's in our audience today. Thank you, Dean, for being here. Uh, this was an idea I had in high school that was recycled for a college class project. And uh, so we decided to pitch this uh, at an entrepreneurship competition. It's grown so much. Started at Irmo High School there. You see some photos of us back in the day with a little rough prototype version of Tux on Trucks. We found some great success with that. It kind of surprised us a little bit. Caught national, uh, excuse me, national news. That would be nice. Caught regional news, live TV shows in Charlotte. Hired about five people across the state to help us out as well. We've just been really blessed with some of the, uh, the news attention that we kind of have gotten for free uh, that makes our phone really not stop ringing. And I've had some great opportunities to pitch all across the uh, really the southeast here as we continue to grow uh, Tux on Trucks. That's kind of our, our little storyline there. So recently we've caught the attention of none other than Mr. George Zimmer himself. He is the former founder and CEO of Men's Warehouse. I heard of them. Uh, he has also started his own company today called Generation Tuxedo, or Gen Tux, as they call it. And uh, Gen Tux, we're really excited to enter this supply partnership with them. Uh, uh, they have a national distribution center, they got all the money in the world, and we're not only getting uh, their supply chain help, but also their call center and their website, a lot of this back-end management that really has bogged my business partner and me down in getting, the, getting us uh, across, the, across the nation. So with Gen Tuck's help, uh, we're very excited to kind of announce this publicly for the first time here in Columbia. Uh, the Gen Tux partnership and George and his team, we really could be a nationwide company <coughs> overnight. Uh, we just really need, and why I'm pitching uh, this kind of tour here, is we really need some, some marketing help with this. Your great connections within this room that are here and the connections you might know could really help us, uh, help us do this. So we're already working today with iHeartMedia to kind of uh, put together about a thirty-five to $50,000 uh, marketing budget to help us kind of expand in the places we already are, right? So I'd love to see us do 200 orders per high school. Today we're doing about 30, and that's a win for us at the scale, the scale we're doing, but we really want to take this marketing campaign and really kick it out to where we already are geographically, but let's get more and more customers to kind of see us. So I'll kind of wrap it with that. You know, Tux on Trucks is uh, really something that has 
rooted here in Columbia, so again, it's really exciting to be back at One Million Cups, and what I'm looking for from you today is a great conversation. I know that's something you'll provide with great connections, um, and I've got plenty of business cards. I'd love to meet you afterwards, but I'd love to take some questions and field those uh, kind of now as we kind of enter that um, Q&A session. So I don't know if that was six-ish minutes, um, but we'll kind of open the floor up for that. Thank that you. That was four minutes and 48 seconds. Perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs>